All right, here's some fluorescence and chemiluminescence experiments you can do with Expo Neon dry erase markers. You'll also need a photon microlight. This one, the one that you're going to need, emits light at 405 nanometers, which is violet light. It also emits a little bit of ultraviolet light, so this acts like a black light. And you can purchase these online fairly inexpensively, 15, 20 bucks or less. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn out the lights and we're going to shine the UV light onto the marker lids and the marker tips. By doing so, we'll be able to see which marker lids and which marker tips contain dyes that fluoresce. So I can see pretty easily that the uh, pink marker lid, the orange marker lid, and the yellow marker lid, which is fluorescing green, all of those contain dyes that fluoresce, whereas the green marker lid and the blue marker lid do not. I can also tell that the pink marker tip, the orange marker tip, the yellow marker tip, and the green marker tip all contain dyes that fluoresce, whereas the blue marker tip does not. I like to write secret messages to my students with the dyes. So you can just take a piece of yellow paper, take your yellow Expo neon marker, and from quite some distance, it's a little tough to see the message that I've drawn, but if we cut out the lights, and turn the ultraviolet light on it. Come into focus. Hey, water! Of course, you probably remember that with fluorescent dyes, the process that's going on is the microlight is emitting ultraviolet photons that are absorbed by dyes, fluorescent dyes. Some of the energy from the UV photon that's absorbed by the dye molecule causes the dye molecule to, to vibrate more rapidly. And the rest of that energy is spit off as, or emitted, as visible light. Different dyes are going to emit different colors. And different fluorescent dyes uh, are what are used in light sticks to give different colors of light stick, different color of light emission. So in this white light stick, there's a mixture of dyes that instead of gaining energy from ultraviolet light, they gain energy from a chemical reaction that's going on inside the light stick. The dyes that gain that chemical energy, they vibrate a little more, but they also use some of the chemical energy to emit visible light different colors of, excuse me, different dyes, different uh, fluorescent dyes are going to emit different colors of visible light. So if you want a different colored light stick, you just use different, different colored dyes. You can show that effect really easily with the Expo markers in the, in the following way. First, I'm going to take a PVC pipe cutter and I'm going to cut off the lid from the light stick. You can also use um, a pair of sharp scissors to do this. I just like to use these because they're a little easier. You can pick those up at Lowe's or in the lumber yard. I'm going to pour some of this uh, into the light stick mixture into a small beaker. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dip the tip of each marker that contains a fluorescent dye into the light stick mixture. So some of the reactants that are in the light stick mixture that are providing the chemical energy for the dyes in the light stick to fluoresce will provide chemical energy for the dyes in the marker tip to fluoresce. So if I recall the red and the orange and the yellow and the green marker tips fluoresced. So I'm just going to dip those in here. And now the reactants from the light stick reaction should be providing chemical energy to the dyes in the marker tip. And that should cause these dyes in each marker tip 
to fluoresce with their characteristic color. Let's turn off the light and see how this works. And sure enough, we see that the markers are fluorescing with their, or the dyes in the marker tips are fluorescing with their characteristic colors. That red's a little tough to see. Let me go ahead and get a little more light stick reactants in it. And we'll just run through each one in turn here. So in a sense, I'm creating, ah, I'm creating my own colors of light sticks from a white light stick by changing the dyes that are in contact with the light stick reactants. Oh, that didn't work. Let's get this guy up here. There we go. Sure enough, the pink emitting dye, the orange emitting dye, looks like the yellow marker is emitting a nice yellow color and the green marker is emitting a nice green color. Now when dyes are emitting light as a result of gaining chemical energy, that's not called fluorescence, that's called chemiluminescence. So we'd say that we've made these markers undergo chemiluminescence, or the dyes in the markers undergo chemiluminescence. I hope you enjoy these experiments. I hope you give them a shot in your classroom. Let me know how they work out.